Yo, so Zenlit Zone Zero has officially dropped, and you know what that means. It's time to take a look at whether it's worth re-rolling for this game or not. And spoilers, it is worth the re-roll. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fastest re-roll method that I have found. I've gotten mine down to a pretty short amount of time. In fact, I'm going to keep re-rolling for something really, really good because I've gotten the re-roll down, and we're able to skip cutscenes and things like that now. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. First, I'm going to show you guys, like, how to actually do start the re-roll in the actual like login menu. And then I'll show you guys some different tips for how to make your re-roll faster. We'll even go over some characters that you might want to look for when you are re-rolling towards the end of the video as well. And I'll kind of like tutorial style, like the actual like rolling process for characters when you're actually pulling for the characters and some little tricks that you can get squeeze out some extra pulls in order to like get that extra little bit out of your reroll before you switch to the next reroll. All right, so this is what you're going to see when you first come into the game for the first time. Actually, you're going to see something more along the lines of this. And if you want to get back to this menu, let's say you've already done all the tutorial and your pulls didn't go very well and you're starting your reroll process right now, it's going to automatically try to sign you into that previous like account that you already had when you come to this menu to reroll or to like log into a different account. You can just go over here on the bottom right click on this button and it'll automatically take you to this so let's say that i had done uh the tutorial and i had done a bunch of polls on this account right here with pancakebreakfast.com as the gmail so just that you guys are aware salted emails don't work for hoyoverse games so you can't do something like this plus one or plus two i'm sure a lot of you guys already know this part right here but that salted email strategy does not work but technically this email right here you own every variant of this email and what i mean by that is you can just put a period right here and use this email and everything will still go back to that original pancakebreakfast.com email and all of these different variants would work. So you could re-roll with this, for example. You could re-roll with this, for example. You can even start adding periods all over the darn place. So you have a lot of variant and you have a lot of different opportunities you can use this exact same email with if you're doing something like this. So I'd recommend doing something like a Gmail account and just making a whole bunch of different rerolls like this. Make a Word document so you can keep track of the pulls that you're getting because sometimes people get tired of rerolling accounts and rather than continue to like numb your brain by just rerolling over and over and over again for like a week or two straight, you might end up falling back on a previous reroll that you did and just settle for that. So keep track of the different pulls you get on these different accounts. Write down these different emails because you might forget which one it is because after a while of adding a bunch of different periods, if you do a ton of different rerolls, let's say you do 20 rerolls, it's going to become a lot more difficult to keep track of than it would be like if I did something like this right here where like this is easy to keep track of like your first few are easy to keep track of but if you start putting a whole bunch of periods all over the dang place it's going to be hard to keep track of so i recommend using a word document to eliminate that problem for yourself and now you're going to be able to reroll the account just start a new account like this and then play through the entire tutorial you're going to want to get to the point where you have to do some main missions and stuff like that in order to get to the point of like min maxing your reroll you want to get to the login rewards because you're gonna get a ton of free pulls just for getting to the login rewards you could keep going technically but at that point you've already played the game for a decent amount of time and it's best to min max your reroll up to the login rewards and different things like that so it will require you to play some of the like main story a little bit but thankfully you can skip a ton of the main story they didn't necessarily have that in like the closed beta test but they do allow that now in the patch one or like in this 1.0 version so definitely skip all of that stuff like play through it one time that way you know what the story is that way you're like taking in the actual game and if it doesn't go well and you want to start re-rolling then totally start you know doing these little like gmail with the period type of emails and then just skip all of the story it won't take that long if you do it that way in fact i got my reroll down to like 45 minutes now obviously there's some things you can min max in order to be able to like bring that time down and if you just play well in the combat of like those first couple of missions you have to do you can really bring the time down a whole lot there's a lot of story now that we can skip and we couldn't necessarily skip that before so that's really bringing the time of this reroll down and i'll show you guys another couple of tips in a second so that you can bring the time limit of that reroll down very very far and just so that you guys are aware obviously you're gonna have to register again when you do 
do these rerolls. So you click on register. It'll take you to this menu and you do everything, like I said, on the other menu over there with the different periods and whatnot. You just do it on this menu instead. And don't be worried about whether it goes to that email or not. Everything will still go to that email, even if you have like periods all over the darn place and you will be able to get the verification code that you need. And then all you actually have to do is continue with the tutorial. Just focus on main story only and then eventually you'll talk to and pet to a cat and then you'll also take a picture of that cat. Yes, a cat. And then literally right after that, you'll be able to go into your menu, collect a whole bunch of different rewards from a bunch of different places. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video. And then you'll be able to actually get all of the day one login rewards. You want to get to those login rewards and then you'll be able to have enough rewards to be able to pull for and guarantee a five star off the standard banner and like 10 to 15 pulls off the premium banner too. That's how you min max the reroll is getting to that point. And then if things don't go well there, then you do your reroll. And so one of the important things about rerolling and to make it so, so much faster is the moment you get the chance to choose your own characters, like not the, the tutorial characters, once you're actually choosing your own characters, the first thing I recommend you doing is leveling up these characters as high as they'll basically go. For example, we can basically take and be like all the way up to level 10 and they'll give you some of the material back if it ends up being too much. And then I'd probably take up Nicole a little bit. Uh, you, you'll, you'll definitely get more of these materials as you play the game. So don't worry about it too much because it, once you do this, this very first time, then it's going to make just re-rolling so much easier in this game like it'll make it so much easier we'll pump all of this up and you'll get more of these back as you play the game i'm not going to ever have to level these guys up ever again i can just go straight into this thing now oh jesus i didn't select her somehow and now we'll be able to just go straight in there and smash everything super duper easy get through the tutorial it only takes me 45 minutes to do a reroll in this game. It might take you maybe an hour or something like that if you're not used to the combat system yet, but it doesn't take you that long, trust me. And in just a minute here, we will look at some good characters to know what to reroll for in terms of the meta and stuff. That'll be towards like the end of the video. But real quick, I want to kind of show you guys like after that cat, like what you do, like what to pull for, how you're pulling and like pick collecting stuff out of the mail and then like getting those extra pulls to be able to like actually get enough to be able to get the five star off the standard banner and some extra pulls on the premium banner because not everybody's going to realize that after you do pulls on a banner you actually get some rewards back afterwards that you can go right back into the banner and pull some more for and that's how you min max this particular re-roll in order to guarantee that five star off the standard banner and then also get some extra pulls on the premium and you'll know that you're basically there once you get to talk to this cat and pet this cat and yes you get to pet the cat in the game which is like god tier zenla zone zero big w for being able to let you pet the cat once you pet the cat you know that you're basically almost there all right now that you have talked to the cat you should be good to go here you'll notice that you have all of these different events it's weird how literally you talk to the cat and that is the last thing that you have to do before you can finally start playing the game or start doing your roles because right after that you get access to all these different events you could even do the uh the ellen tutorial demo which you get allows you to play the character you get all of these master tapes you just get a whole bunch of cool stuff let's go ahead and do some pulls here but first let's go over to the mail let's collect everything from the mail that we can get right now so you're going to get a new character, Corin, which is a pretty good character, actually. You get 20 master tapes, but you also get some... You can also redeem your uh, codes here. And you just go over here to redeem code. And I'll show you the codes on the screen here that you can use that are out right now. Hopefully, they don't expire by the time you see this video. But when you get all of the codes, you get a good amount of rewards for them. Go to your achievements, claim all everything from your achievements and then come over here to the signal shop. I accidentally already ripped the 10 pull on the standard banner by accident when I wasn't recording, but you should have 41 roughly by this point. And I recommend pulling on the standard banner first. So go over here to the standard banner and you get a discount eight rather than 10 in order to be able to rip a 10 pull, which is very convenient. And then you can just keep tapping over here and skipping. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Hopefully oh man she's definitely not what i wanted i might have to keep re-rolling unfortunately for me so now that we've done that we can go to the sing the signal shop we can get uh what is this oh we can go to the fading signal sorry 
You want to be in the fading signal to be able to get these. You get five of these bad boys right here. And then let's take them all the way to five. Cool, cool. And was that, was that enough to get five of these yet? Cool. We can get all five of these as well. So cool. We're good to go. Now we can just rip as much as we want. Let's go ahead and go to Ellen's banner and we can rip a 10 pull on Anna, Ellen's banner now. It just makes it so much easier. Trust me, ripping the 10 pull is so much faster than ripping single pulls for Ellen. It is so annoying. They prompt you like a million different times. Come on. Let this be the one. Let this be the one, please. Please, bro. God damn it. Yeah, that did not work out very well at all. But because this reroll did not go well, this account is basically dusted. As you can see, I have enough here to get a couple of encrypted uh, pulls off of this. So we get two premium banner pulls from this right here. And this, who knows? This could be... The one, right? It could be the make or break. The one that gets it done. Is it? No. And before you switch to your next reroll, make sure that you collect all of the rewards all over again. Because just by pulling on the banners, you will have actually gotten some more rewards. So go back to your internaut, go to internaut level, and you will have raised your level by simply pulling on the banner. So collect everything you can from there, because there's like a couple of pulls there. And also go collect everything out of the achievements as well. Make sure you've done all of that. Make sure in your signal search in the signal shop that you've grayed out everything here. I mentioned this earlier, the fading signal. Make sure these two are grayed out right here. And in residual signal, make sure you've gotten as many of these encrypted master tapes as you can possibly get once you've done all of your pulls. These are the last minute things you do to squeeze out some extra pulls before you go to your next reroll. But don't forget that some things aren't worth your time. For example, the selectable agents over here, you can get some extra like what is it polychromes out of doing all these tutorials but all these tutorials take way too much time you don't want to turn your 45 minute reroll into like an hour or an hour and 15 minute reroll because dude think about it if you do three hour long rerolls that's freaking three hours if you turn your if you keep your rerolls down to 45 minutes you can literally get more rerolls in that three hours than if they were an hour long so min max your time spent and of course Go here to more and make sure that you've collected everything out of here. And a last minute thing too, right here on the events menu, all the way at the bottom. I didn't mention this earlier. Boisterous Premiere. All it wants you to do is watch a trailer. You don't even have to watch it. You just click on it like to view now and you can immediately claim and it'll just give you like, what is this? Uh, Some polychrome, like 30 polychrome. Those are super easy things to do. Min max your time with the easy things to do. Don't do the things that waste your time. Keep your reroll down to like 45 minutes. All right, so let's go over some of the power level of some of these characters right now because that's why we're rerolling, right? I will cover this is pridewin.gg's tier list. I will cover this tier list in a dedicated video for it, so stay tuned for that. But I don't want to bog this video down going over literally every single character in the game. We're going to go over what's mostly important, which are these five stars. Because every single one of us, if we just play through the tutorial and get to those day one login rewards, every single one of us will get one free random five star for free, dude. So that is why we're that's going to determine whether we keep a reroll in most cases or not obviously we're going to be rolling into ellen as well or like trying to pull ellen during our reroll but we have less opportunities to pull her than we do with these five stars because we have a guaranteed five star from the standard banner so that's in most cases what will determine whether we keep an account or not so hey, let's go over those real quick grace is really really strong i like grace i think nekomata is very good as well i think rena is very very good too and of course we have lichen if i'm saying his name right lichen is cracked bro he's a super duper strong character off the standard banner uh, now this information was based on cbt3 just so that you guys are aware but not much has changed since that last closed beta test now i don't fully agree with some of the placements of some of these characters like these two right here but we'll go over that in a dedicated tier list video i just wanted to mention to you guys that like grace nekomata and rena and lichen if you roll into one of those characters you should probably be pretty satisfied with that but feel free to keep re-rolling into whatever makes you happy right the power of re-rolling is you can basically choose what you want if you just re-roll it keep re-rolling enough times now briefly i will mention that everyone should be going for ellen she's insanely strong super easy to use and one of the best characters to pair with her is sukaku if i'm saying that right 
And Sukaku is a character that all of us get for free, dude. If you just keep playing the main story and one of the side event things, like getting to like, I think tier two of one of like the side like events, she is given to us for free, at least one copy. And she's a very, very strong character to buff Ellen. And that so it's kind of like a no brainer, bro. You you're going to get her. So you might as well be going for Ellen and Ellen's already super duper cracked. So everybody should be trying to do that. Anyways, if you found any of this helpful or informative in any way, shape or form, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing a lot more Sinless Zone Zero content, Wuthering Waves, Honkai Starl, Genshin Impact. You know the drill. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.